every small medium or large company out there is running a relational database of one kind or another whether it is mysql sql server oracle db2 and even a lot of other no sql databases the primary method of interacting with these databases is with sql or structured query language there are already plethora of large language models available which convert natural language into sql but most of them struggle to produce a coherent and sql of high quality all of these models are able to produce simple sql queries but but when it comes to nested queries or sub queries and other analytical functions in these queries almost all of these models struggle to some extent even gpt4 but this new model sql coder 70 billion which is in alpha has got a promising start this model has already shown on few benchmarks that it can beat gpt4 so for enterprising looking to make their internal data accessible to non technical users but they don't want to share with open ai then i believe that not only in terms of security but also the quality this sql coder 70 billion can be the choice this 70 billion coder sql coder is based on code llama 70 billion which was released earlier this week and i have done a video on it you can search it on my channel this um, sql coder 70 billion can run on just one a100 gpu card if it is in quantized version it is available with commercial use license and you can also use it with hugging face transformers library now one of the best thing about it that when it was evaluated on sql eval it has beaten gpt4 by a massive 11% on text to sql task sql eval is a framework that evaluates the correctness of llm generated sql because the sql eval has become a de facto standard so another thing which most of the sql coding model confuses is that two different sql queries can be correct so you can access the data within a database by two different ways writing two different queries doing the same thing that is why the sql eval uh, make sure that it understands that nuance and then Uh, any llm meeting that benchmark can be rest assured that it's of high quality so if you look at this benchmarking results you can see the quality of sql coder is way better than even gpt4 here and then rest of them like claude and even sql coder's own smaller versions are way way far behind now they also have a github repo where they discuss in more detail as how the sql coder was built and what you can do in terms of sql coder 70 billion 34 billion and other versions plus if you are looking to do the training of it they have some training approach and evaluation framework which is i have just showed you and then if you are looking to do the inference then they also have this code available which you can readily use provided you have a beefy system unfortunately i don't have otherwise i would have tried it by now anyway but i can show you the demo um, so this demo is available online and i'll drop the link to their project page or hugging face page from there you can access all of these things easily so for example you can see that this more um, this demo is there and this demo is not of a full blown version but still you can sense the quality of it for example the natural language question is simple what are top 3 products per revenue in the new york region then they have um, produced this sql at the bottom now you if you want to do for example any special instructions about your data set because if you are aware of your data set you can put it here for example if say that if the question cannot be answered just written i don't not know now let me ask it one of the question here let which product is more famous among females in sydney australia let's see what it does here let me click get sql it is working let's wait for it to come back 
and on the right hand side it is telling me how much time it has passed and there you go so this is our query here as you can see it says select p name product and then it is joining product and product and all that stuff and it is specifying region and gender is f it is female amazing stuff okay let me ask it one more question so ironically enough i have uh, used chat gpt to create a very complex prompt so in this prompt what i'm doing is i am just asking it that you are a data analyst working with database that stores information that i have given it database schema structure here with uh, all of these books table author table sales table customer and then i'm asking it that generate a sql query to find the top best five selling authors in the last year and all that stuff so all of this query with this requirement is making sure that it involves aggregation filtering sorting and all the databases expensive issues let's see if it is able to generate the sql for me and as we all know that the better and more holistic our prompt is the better uh, our llm is going to produce the results so there you go so you can see that it has of course a limit that is awesome because that is what i said and then join is there it is also aggregating it and then it is also doing some date manipulation spot on i would say so you can see that how cool it is that um, to generate sql queries with this i'm not sure if you have worked with uh, oracle queries but writing the nested queries and sub queries it really pain in the back so if we can use some um, open source models with whole privacy it will be awesome because look for example if you have your company's database which stores like credit card information or any sensitive information you don't want to share its schema its sample data with open ais or any other model out there which is a uh, closed source so you have to just give your data and you don't know where your data is going so i think uh, models like this sql coder 70 billion are a great way to make sure that you have installed these models locally you have exposed your database schema and sample data to even the actual data to it and then you can ask your users to ask questions or generate queries from that data by using this sql coder even um, the normal users can go ahead and you know ask something and then this sql coder would generate query get the result from database and return the result to the user so basically you are just you know minusing the whole slew and whole army of sql developers from in between so you can imagine the use cases are limitless here that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions or any thoughts or any other use cases please let me know very keen to know and if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel as it helps a lot and if you are already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network thanks for watching